Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about sucking at programming, programming, but still loving it, and what to do. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I suck at programming, but I really like it, or I really love it. What should I do? Well, that's an easy one. Continue doing it until you don't love it anymore. Because mm -hmm. that's what I did. I sucked at programming when I first started as well. Like hard, hard. I sucked so bad. I have so many embarrassing things that I thought about software development when I was first starting out. And I had such problems solving even basic, uh, basic things when I started taking courses and stuff like that. I still count one of the most important people in my life as uh, in terms of my career progress in programming. She basically did for me, I think in many ways, what I'm trying to do for you guys. Uh, but she did it in a, I mean, she did it much better than I did. Uh, and I don't even know her real name and I don't uh, anything about it. I, I took this course back a few years back where it was it was C programming and I think it was CS CS50 at Harvard, Harvard like one of their online courses and there was this uh, woman who was very active on the forums her name was Curious Kiwi and she was without a doubt one of the best mentors that I've ever had uh, in coding. She would write pseudocode for the different exercises that we had uh, during that week and I don't know how but she just managed so many times to explain things in a way that made it comprehensible to me what I should do because I could sit there with my main function and I really didn't know how to write this thing I didn't really understand how to do this and she would explain few steps like oh, I'm thinking we should solve it this way and that way and it just made sense to me and the thing is that that continued for quite some time like uh, I wouldn't say that I was especially gifted in pr I mean that's the problem right you never you don't re I don't really look at myself as some type of special programmer like and the same thing goes for the people who are like everybody I mean, if you only have yourself, it's very hard to determine, like, if you're good or bad at software development. I would like to think that I've progressed, uh, progressed today to a point where I know a few things about it. But then you can also make the argument, well, uh, at, your current, at your current stage in software development, where are you in comparison to other people at your, your, like, that have spent as much time in software development as you have? So it's hard to say whether you're good or bad. But the thing that I can tell you is that, at least from my perspective, it never really bothered me so much whether or not I was good at software development. Of course you want to be good, but what was more important to me was that I became as good as I like to say, I want to be as good as I can be. And wherever I land on that scale is like the higher up I can get the better, but it's not the goal. The goal is not to to be acknowledged as one of the best programmers ever. It's if that happens, that's great. But the fundamental thing that I try to do, and I think that you should do the same thing, is to indulge th indulge the love that you have for the profession. Do what makes you happy. Because the thing is, I've had quite a few developers who've reached out and they've said to me, Frederick, I suck at programming and I feel like I'm the ba worst developer at my job. What should I do? And I go and I say the same thing. Why does that matter to you? There's no like, are you gonna quit just because you're you suck at programming? Are you gonna quit your job? Well, here's what I suggest that you do: try your absolute best and do everything. Like go the distance. Like truly do everything that you can in order to be the best that you can be, without killing yourself. Of course, I mean you 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 should just embrace the love that you have for the profession and really try your best, and then let other people determine if you're good enough. Because that's the thing, right? It doesn't really matter if you feel as the best programmer in the world. You Because if you continue for long enough, at some point you're going to start feeling better about yourself. Because you will get better as long as you stick by it. But 
the only pers person who dictates whether or not you're good enough is your managers, your coworkers. If they are not firing you, if they're not like, if that's not uh, the case, well, then you're clearly good enough to work in that company. And if that company doesn't suit you, then you have to continue that journey and go to the next company and maybe they will feel that you're good enough and at some point you're going to be good enough I promise you even if you get in over your head because this has happened it happened to me for sure it did at my first job I got a job in an environment where the stakes were super high and the expectations were super high I was way out of my depth I had super problems uh, dealing with that environment and I had anxieties and all kinds of problems the second I switched job to a much more a larger corporation or like a more serious work environment everything started changing for me and today I feel like it's I, I remember at the time that I sort of to told my old manager at my first job that maybe because I was feel I really felt bad about it and I said maybe we I you mean in the future when I'm better I will could come back and she of course as the nice person she is says yeah of course like uh, when you have the skills etc etc we might take you back and now I can't j I cannot even imagine wanting to go back to that company I know that I have the skills because I've uh, I've progressed now in my career to the point where I actually I, I know how to do the job and I know what I did wrong in that first company or at least I'd like to believe so but I have no I no longer have the interest because I could now with hindsight see what the problems I had were and it wasn't just my fault all the time so what I want you to take away from this is that if you feel like you're shit at programming, guys, there are tons of people who feel like they're shit at programming. And, the, and the, the, it all comes down to the same question. And I'm going to ask you that question. Do you want to continue? Do, are you willing to do what it takes to feel better about yourself? Because I can promise you, if you continue, you will learn more. And at some point, you will progress to a point where if you look back you will notice that you have gotten better if you're comparing yourself to other people and there's all these talented developers who are doing things so much better than you that's gonna hurt you and if you can't stop doing that sure try to live with it but remember that you have a value like you're still you are progressing yourself don't forget don't get caught up looking at everybody else and forget about looking where you're on your at your own path that path that you are on is also progressing and the only at the end of the day whether or not you're good enough comes down to what your boss feels about you working in the company if you are in a company and they're paying you to be a software developer though well, then clearly you're good enough so maybe you're being a little bit harsh on yourself maybe it's uh, not reasonable for you to expect to be further ahead than you are because the only and even if you are supposed to be further ahead the only thing you can do is continue the grind and continue progressing and try to shut out all those internal voices saying that you're not good enough because if you can make it in this industry then you're clearly good enough so that's what at least what I suggest that you do embrace the love that you have for this profession and remember that as long as you are progressing you are getting better that's all you need to remember have a great day